Hey guys, in this pick a card reading today, we're going to be looking at you versus them. So we're going to be looking at your thoughts and feelings and what you want from the connection versus their thoughts and feelings and what they want from the connection. So we have four reading options which are displayed uh, in front of you here. We have reading number one, number two, number three, and number four. So just take a moment to use your intuition and figure out which reading you would like to choose. The timestamps, of course, will be in the description area as well as at the top of the comments list. I'll see you at your reading. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get into reading number one. Okay, for people who chose reading number one, I'm just going to be using the Rider Waite Smith deck for this reading. So we're going to be doing a simple spread here. So this is going to be your thoughts, feelings, and what you want. Their thoughts, feelings, and what they want. And then we have a Romance Angels card here. Just going to be kind of like the general energy of the connection. All right, so what are you thinking about them and this connection? We have the Seven of Wands. So you might be feeling a little bit defensive. Uh, you might be feeling, you know, a little bit like, I mean, you probably are not really loving what's going on right now between the two of you with the Seven of Wands. Let's get a clarifier here. Okay, Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands. For some of you, this is not usually the case with these readings, but for some of you, maybe it's moving too quickly. This can also indicate that, uh, you know, maybe the communication that's happening is something that you don't like. So maybe you don't like what they're saying and that's making you feel defensive, or you feel like they're moving too fast, or something along those lines. Maybe it will get clarified a little bit as we move on. So what are your feelings for this person? You're feeling the hanged man reversed. So the hanged man normally indicates someone who wants to take a pause um, and kind of like think things through really well. I think with the reversal, either you, um, you know, I think there are definitely like speed issues here. And this is a general reading, so I feel like it's not going to be the same for everyone. But for some of you, your main problem with this connection right now is that things are moving too quickly. And I think for other people, your problem is that things are stuck and they're not moving as quickly as you want. And that's causing you f to feel defensive and on guard with this person. So definitely either things are moving too quickly or too slowly. So what are you wanting? <laughs> Lots of wands here. I definitely feel like you guys are very passionate towards this person, but it might be passion that at the moment is presenting itself in, in anger. Uh, you might be feeling very angry and frustrated with this person. We get the ten of, 10 of wands reversed. I feel like right now the connection is a major burden to you. Um, and I feel like you're not wanting to take on the level of burden and responsibility that this requires. Um, it's just, it's presenting certain burdens that you're like, no, this is, this is not what I want out of a love relationship. So let's look at theirs and then we'll look at the energy between the two of you. What are their thoughts? We get the Queen of Swords. So they are probably viewing you as someone who is being a little bit cold and a little bit distant right now. What are their feelings? I feel like they are waiting it out. They're going to be patient. You know, they definitely want something to happen here, and they feel like 
the best thing to do is to be patient. So maybe they're having to be patient with your attitude, you know, and this is their perspective. I'm not saying that you have an attitude, but it could be that they feel like they have to be patient with you being upset with them uh, or that they just need to wait longer than maybe that you would think. Again, it's going to be different for different viewers, um, but they do feel like, seems like they are feeling like, you know, if they're moving too quickly for you and you don't like that, then this is indicating that they're just trying to be patient with you. You know, they're trying to be patient with the pace that you want them to be moving at. Uh, and what do they want? <laughs> they have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So this is interesting because you have the Ten of Wands reversed. They have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So you're not wanting the burden or you're not, in, not wanting the responsibility and the burden that trying to deal with this connection gives you. And right now, they, I feel like, you know, with the Page of Pentacles, they do want this long-term life with you. That's what the page would be working towards. But I feel like in terms of what they want, I think that they want to try to figure out, you know, how to create this more with more stability. And we have it clarified with the King of Wands. Either they're wanting more stability here or they would like to just have a lot more freedom first. You know, maybe they feel like the two of you need to kind of just date for a while before you get into some sort of heavy commitment, which could be what the Page of Pentacles is indicating as well, that like, you know, maybe right now we just need to be a little bit less serious about things until we really know what we're getting into. Okay, so what's the general... Uh, so the general energy is true love. So even though the two of you have had a lot of, you know, it seems like there's some tension going on for sure. There's still like a whole lot of passion. There's passion and also like this person is serious about you, you know, because I feel like they want to go about things the right way with you. They want to approach this in the way that they think is most likely to work. So I feel like, you know, being patient either with, patient with what you want uh, or like patient with the process is what they think is the best approach and also I feel like they just think it's better not to get into some sort of heavy commitment right away. For one thing they are seeing you as someone who likes their independence a whole lot and so they're like okay you know I'm not going to force you to lose your independence if that means that I'll lose you all together. I would rather go go slowly, um, you know, instead of rushing into a commitment, um, if that means that we have a better chance at this stability eventually later on when it makes more sense. So I feel like that's the message I'm getting for folks who chose number one. I hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, this is the reading for people who chose reading number two. So let's see what's going on with your person. We are using the Rider Waite Smith deck for this reading. Let me just give it a few shuffles here. We're also going to use the Romance Angels deck for just the kind of general energy of this connection. This is going to be you over here. Now this is a general reading. Some of you might find that the energies are switched and that this is you and this is them. But I'm going to read it as this being you and you can switch it if that's necessary. So what are you thinking about them? Hmm. We've got the Ten of Cups reversed. So I think what you're thinking is that there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of love here and you definitely want this love and this happiness and this emotional fulfillment with this person. However, I also think that you are uh, maybe a little bit worried that it won't happen. You definitely feel like you haven't gotten there yet, but I feel like you feel hopeful, you know, that you can eventually get to this happy life together. 
what are you feeling? You're feeling mostly at peace, you know? So like I said, maybe you've, you're realizing that you're not there yet. There might be a little bit of a thought of maybe we won't get there, but it seems like you're at peace with it either way. Sort of like if it happens, that's wonderful. That's what you would most want to happen. But you're also thinking if it doesn't happen, you know what? I can be at peace with that because I don't need to be with any specific person in order to find my general fulfillment or happiness in life, which is a very healthy attitude to have. So what are you wanting ultimately with this person? What do you most want to have? We get the Ace of Cups reversed. I'm going to clarify that. Okay. So we get the Ace of Cups reversed with the Nine of Wands. I feel like you guys are not, you're feeling, um, there may have been conflicts or problems in this connection, and maybe you're feeling a little bit uncertain of this person's motives at the moment. Maybe that's why you're not sure if you'll really reach this emotional fulfillment together. But it's sort of like, again, you're at peace with it. You're like, well, if this person isn't going to grow up or act the way that they should, that's okay. And it seems like right now you would rather put the brakes on it because you're like, I can't necessarily trust this person's love right now. I can't necessarily trust what they would be offering me. So I feel like I, maybe I need to kind of like put the brakes on for the moment. So that's the general feeling I'm getting. So let's look at theirs next. What are their thoughts here? So this person is definitely <laughs> closed off to their emotions. You know, they're trying... You know, they are doing a lot of thinking here. They're thinking, they're analyzing, they're overanalyzing. I feel like they think about you all the time, but it's very removed from their emotions. And maybe this is why you're closing off your own heart to them, because you're like, you know, I've given you so much love. I've sent so much love your way. You know, my heart has overflowed for you. And perhaps you're seeing them as this King of Swords type person who's very closed off emotionally and does not express their emotions. And I feel like you're just saying enough is enough. I'm not going to continue to pour my heart out to you if you're going to be cold as ice like this. So that's, where, that's what they're thinking. They're thinking also very rationally and logically. They're definitely not being swayed by their emotions because they're barely even feeling those emotions to begin with. Uh, they're just being very, very logical about the whole thing. So what are they feeling when they can get in touch with those feelings? Even though they're very rational and logical, you know, they, they are seeing a lot of opportunity here. They do also, like you, this the Wheel of Fortune is a 10 card, just like this card over here on your side. So I feel like they are optimistic that the two of you could reach this emotional fulfillment, this happiness together as well. Um, but I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, they also know that sometimes the will turns in our favor and sometimes the will does not turn in our favor. And that's their rational mind at work here. So you kind of, you're a little bit similar here in terms of what you're expecting to happen. You, you, you both would like, you would like to hope that the two of you would figure this out and that things would come to their happy conclusion um, and that you could ride off into the sunset together. But you both definitely have reservations. So I would feel... Um, you know, that there have probably been quite a few problems in this connection. And so that's why you're both, you know, doubting whether or not this, this could actually come to pass. So what do they want? They want the five of wands. Some of them might want to argue with you. Some of them might want to contradict some of the things that you've been saying or expressing to them. Uh, let me pull a clarifier for that. Yeah, they, they feel like you are wrong about something, and they definitely want to tell you about it. <laughs> they want you to know what their opinion is, and they know that their opinion is not going to be something that you agree with, I feel like. Um, you know, and they, someone who's in the King of Swords type energy, you know, they, they don't 
it's not just that they're not in touch with their own emotions, but they're very, they can be very callous and thoughtless when it comes to other people's emotions as well. You know, the five of wands indicates like a minor conflict, you know, to them, maybe that's what it looks like to them. Maybe it's like, well, they might not like my opinion very much, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just me expressing my opinion. Um, you know, so they're not thinking it's a big deal, the, you know, that they want to disagree with you. Um, they just think it's them expressing their opinion that they don't see things the way that you do. So what's the general energy of this connection? We have the soulmate card. I'm not going to read the romance angels cards in reverse. So I'm just going to read those upright. So yeah, I mean, this is a soul level connection. This is a very significant connection that the two of you have. And sometimes those connections are the ones that test us test us the most. So yeah, guys, that's what I get for those of you who chose reading number two. I really hope that you enjoyed that reading. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. All right, welcome to everybody who chose reading number three. I'm going to use a Romance Angels card for just the general energy of the connection. And then I'm using the Rider Waite Smith deck for the other portion of the reading. So we're going to ask for each of you, what are your thoughts, what are your feelings, and what do you want from this connection? This is just going to be a quick choosing one card, maybe a clarifier if necessary for each of those three questions. This is going to be your energy over here, and I'm going to read this as their energy on this side. Now... <clears throat> This is a general reading, so sometimes the energies might be switched. Maybe this feels more like you and this feels more like them. That's totally okay, but I'm going to read it as this is you, this is them, just because that's easier for me to do. All right, so let's look at you first. What are your thoughts here? We have the chariot. I feel like you are wanting forward movement. You're definitely wanting something to happen here. But with the chariot card, you're definitely also realizing that moving forward effectively without wrecking the whole situation is going to take a lot of balance. It's going to, you know, take some perseverance. Um, any of the seven cards indicate significant spiritual lessons. And generally speaking, spiritual lessons do test us quite a bit. So I feel like you're thinking that this is a bit of a test. Um, it's not been totally, you know, rainbows and unicorns. It hasn't been completely easy, but you definitely want to continue forward with this person. So what are your feelings? We have the queen of wands. So I feel like you're feeling very passionate, but also this indicates that you are someone who really likes to have a lot of freedom. You like to be very independent. The, this is someone who doesn't necessarily like to get tied down too quickly. Um, you know, the Queen of Wands would indicate that you are, you know, maybe you're leaving your options open uh, as long as you feel like you need to, you know, uh, because you're not, you're not just going to settle down, you know, right away with someone before you're certain that it's right for you. But I do feel like you're feeling a lot of passion. Let me just pull one clarifier for that. And we have the Hermit card reversed. I feel like you don't want to be alone. I mean, part of your attraction to this person is you like spending time with them. If the two of you happen to not be in communication, but you still have feelings for them, I kind of feel like you're just like, I don't want to be alone, so I'm willing to date other people or spend time with friends. You definitely are wanting to inter be interacting and socializing with other people. So, you know, if there's something with this connection that's, you know, keeping you from being able to be with this person, you're like, well, that's fine. You know, like I have friends or, you know, if we're not committed to each other, I can date other people. So, like I said, some of you might just be keeping your options open. Maybe this person isn't available or it's just not working out right now. So what is it that you want? 
you want the Knight of Wands. I feel like you want this person to rush in and, you know, give you that time together. Like you would prefer to be communicating with them. You would be would prefer to like be going on dates and spending time together. Um, you want to have adventures together. You want to have life experiences to build memories together. You want action. And some of you might want, you know, some physical action because the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands are very passionate energies. So let's see what's going on with them. What are their thoughts here? We have the Page of Wands. So again, lots of passion. They definitely are aware of your passionate feelings for them. And they also are having some very passionate thoughts for you. I feel like they also, you know, like communicating with you. There's like a definite flirty energy here. They want to be able to communicate with you as much as possible. Um, they think uh, as well, just like you do, they think about all of the different experiences that the two of you could share. You know, dates you could go on, places that you could travel together, experiences that you could have. So it's very similar to what's going on on your end so far. So what are their feelings? We have the Four of Pentacles reversed. So maybe this is someone who has been holding back quite a bit. And I feel like they are getting more to the point where they're ready to take a risk a little bit. You know, because the Page of Wands is a risk taker. You know, they they know that pursuing this connection with you would require some sort of risk. It would be a little bit of a gamble. But they're feeling a little bit lucky. So I feel like they are feeling more like maybe I should take a risk. <laughs> yeah, and they definitely, like I said, they definitely want this very badly. Um, and I think, you know, in terms of them taking a risk, they really think it's a big risk, you know, like they think that the chances of this working out are very slim because we have the Ace of Swords reversed, but we also have the Devil card, like they want it so badly. They want it at like 95%, but they think their chances of actually having what they want with you are like, five percent so that's a pretty big gamble but it's kind of like they feel like the payout would be huge like it would be like winning the jackpot but if they lost the loss would be even worse um, it would be a tremendous loss um, and they feel like that loss is probably the most likely thing that will happen is that they'll lose out so what ultimately do they want yeah, they want to start opening up to you emotionally. I feel like that's mostly what they've been holding back on. They have been holding back on expressing their emotions. Uh, and it seems like they want to start doing more of that. Now, it's interesting to me that we have two pages over here on their side. On your side, we have more like adult energy. So I feel like that this person is just... They're a little bit immature when it comes to romantic relationships, you know, especially, you know, going after what they want. They don't necessarily have that confidence. They're trying to build it, being able to open up and express themselves. Again, they definitely have that fear, which causes them to sort of hold back. So what's the general energy of the connection? This could be the one. So yeah, I feel like you both are feeling like this could be the one, and they really do want to take a chance on it. So, you know, maybe they will, maybe they won't, um, because they do see that as a very big risk to take, but they are getting closer to taking it, at least. So guys, I hope that that reading was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. Hey guys who chose reading number four this is your reading so we're going to be using the Rider Waite Smith deck to answer the questions what are your thoughts feelings and what do you want and then we'll ask the same of your person of interest and then I'm going to just use this romance angels card to indicate the general energy of the connection
Okay, so let's start over on your side. Now, I'm going to read this as your side. I'm going to read this as their energy. This is a general reading, for so for some of you that may be switched, so just, you know, you can make that call on your own. All right, so what are you thinking? You're thinking that, you know, that there's the strong potential that something good is going to happen here, that things are moving forward for the better. But this is the Wheel of Fortune. So with the Wheel of Fortune, you also know that what goes up can come down. Um, you know, sometimes the wheel turns in your favor, sometimes it doesn't. I do feel like this card does indicate like a strong optimism, but it's optimism with a realistic side of it that, you know, like, you know, nothing good necessarily lasts forever, you know, so you're trying to be realistic, but hopeful, I think. So what are your feelings here? We get the seven of pentacles reversed. Let me clarify. With the star reversed, I feel like you're feeling like your wish with this person just hasn't been fulfilled yet. And you feel like you've been really patient. You feel like you've put in the effort. You've put, on the, put in the hard work. Um, but you're still waiting for the harvest to come in. And you are kind of feeling a little bit, you know, you're feeling optimistic. But you also just are feeling... I think a little bit let down that you haven't had this happy outcome already. You're trying your best to be patient. Um, you're also, you, you know, we have two Pentacles cards here. So you, for you guys, maybe your emotions tend to be very grounded and practical. You know, maybe you're probably not someone who just, uh, you know, will lose your cool or like, um, you don't get triggered easily. You're not emotionally reactive. You're very stable and calm for the most part. But you do, I feel like you do feel like you've been very patient so far and you're willing to continue to be patient because you're optimistic. However, you, you do not like the fact that your wish with this person has not been fulfilled yet. For sure, you don't like that. All right, so what do you want with this person we have the Hierophant, so I feel like you want to be married to this person. Again, you have a very grounded, earthy energy. You're wanting commitment. You're wanting like a serious commitment. You want the long term. You want the whole shebang. So what about them? What are they thinking here? Okay, they might be a little bit concerned with money and feel like they don't have enough money to really put the effort into this connection that they would want to. You know, um, this card can also indicate that they just feel like the connection itself is unstable and they feel like it's very uncertain how things are going to turn out. Yeah, this, this person also is just very earthy. Maybe you both have strong earth in your charts uh, or a strongly placed Saturn or perhaps Venus. But... Um, but yeah, I feel like they want to feel more stable, you know, and they want to feel more certain that this is going to, uh, they, I mean, they also are wanting something committed, you know, they're wanting the same thing that you are. They, the king of pentacles is someone who wants to be a spouse. They want to be married as well, but I feel like they're wanting more money. I think for a lot of them, it's just, they want more money. Or they want things to feel less uncertain or all of the above. So what are their feelings for you? Well, they're feeling a little bit conflicted right now. They might be feeling a little bit frustrated with you for some reason. We also have the two of swords reversed. I don't know if that's in the frame or not. So I feel like they feel frustrated because they don't think that you're making up your mind about something. Uh, they feel like you haven't made some sort of decision regarding them. It could be they think that you haven't decided between them and another person, or maybe they think that you haven't decided whether you want them or not, or exactly what you want with them. You know, whether that's true or not, that is, you know, that's what's going on from their perspective. They feel like you haven't made a decision here, and that is definitely frustrating them. Now, they're not angry per se, but they're definitely frustrated. 
Yeah. And whatever this issue is, it makes them feel defensive, you know. Um, you know, if you haven't made this decision, it, it hurts their feelings a little bit. I think they don't want their feelings to be hurt, so they're feeling defensive here for sure. Um, and if there has been some sort of conflict, that's also making them feel defensive. So what do they ultimately want? Well, they want... <laughs> they want you to be offering them something emotionally so that they have the power to decide. Because they feel like that's the position you've put them in. That they're trying to offer you something. Maybe you don't see it. But they're trying to offer you something and they feel like you haven't decided whether or not you want to accept it. So I feel like they want you to now come forward and offer them something. Maybe an apology if the two of you have had an argument um, or something. They want you to make some sort of love offer, but they want that so that they have the opportunity to refuse it. Now, they don't really want to refuse it. They just want to have the power to refuse it. Because the Four of Cups also indicates emotional stability. You know, their emotions for you, their love for you is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's very grounded. It's very stable and secure. But they do like the idea of getting to say no to you or give you a little bit of the cold shoulder because they feel like that's what you've done to them. Yeah, the Devil card. They want to be with you very strongly so they might if you do say if you do reach out to them or if you you know try to be sweet and cuddly or whatever they might like kind of brush you off or whatever if the two of you aren't talking and you try to reach out to talk or like give them an apology they might ignore you or just again like be a little bit cold or pouty or whatever and act like they don't care but they do care you know, the devil card indicates a very, very strong attraction to you, and they, they're not going to let go of you. So, what's the general energy between the two of you? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, we see that you are wanting marriage. You know, the king of pentacles also indicates to me that that's their mindset as well. Whether they get marriage with you or not, they want to be with you. And even the devil card is an earth energy. It is related to the sign of Capricorn. So that is a very strong grounded energy. They want this to be locked down. They want the two of you to be locked down with rings. You know, they want rings on fingers so that the two of you are chained together more or less. Uh, they definitely don't want to lose you. So but they're probably going to make it seem like they don't care as much as they do because it's a, a little bit of a power game to them. That's how they are in terms of defending their emotions. So guys, I hope that this reading was very